What up, though, fam? It's your homie Grand, and we're back. And if you're watching this video, you get it. You see the need to know After Effects, to learn After Effects, and to get the urgency of learning it fast. You know, in the last two years, we have changed the way we see and do business. 56 million millionaires around the globe exist today. <laughs> so with many of those uh, entrepreneurs emerging from the online community, there is a greater need for branding, marketing, and promotion. And this is where we come in. So according to the Google Trends, there's a gap between what's needed and what's available. So let's fill in the gap and perfect the art of motion graphics. I'll be your instructor, and I'm going to teach you in a fun, relaxed, intuitive way with a reward system, like a video game. And you will enjoy the rewards you would get from learning something new. So without further ado, let's get started. One of the first things that you're going to need to learn about After Effects to get an understanding is the three panels. So over here, we have the project panel, panel number one, and this is where you import and organize the media assets you use in your project. And here we have panel number two, which is our composition panel. This is where you will preview uh, your project as you create it. And you have here panel number three, and this is the timeline panel. And this is where you will arrange and edit your media assets to create your actual content project. Now you're going to later on be uh, adjusting the panels. So as you see here, if we uh, roll our cursor over the lines here, we see that we can adjust the panels uh, left and right. Or if you go down here, we can adjust it up or down. Congratulations, you have finished your first achievement award of finishing the first sections of After Effects. So absorb all your achievement because you deserve it. Okay, the next step is learning how to create a composition, which is where we're going to be doing our work. And, um, importing assets into our project window, which is going to be the tools or the images or assets that we're going to be using inside of the composition. So first, let me show you how to import assets into your project. You go down inside of the empty box, you right click, you hit import, you go to file and you go to your folder, which is the ultimate Photoshop toolbox. And that you should have if you are a student. And if you don't, you may want to go get it so that you can be able to follow along. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and first open up uh, our logo. So that's going to be the um, the RA logo here, Red Art Media logo. Then we're going to go back and add another file, which is going to be our background. So again, we go back to Toshiba Ultimate and we'll go to our background animations and we'll import this neon background to file. So congratulations, you just learned how to import assets into your project. Now again, this is not for professionals, of course, it is for brand new beginner students. So congratulate yourself, you just learned the panels and you just learned how to import. Now, we're gonna learn how to create a new composition. And don't worry, things is not gonna be moving this slow and when we start going, moving along. As a matter of fact, the things that you're gonna learn now is not even gonna mean anything when we actually start doing the banging, banging uh, sessions, all right? With that being said, let's go ahead and move on. How do we create a composition? Easy, we go over here, we double click, or click and we this is we can choose our presets and I choose 1920 by 1080 and now this is how we create and this is the size that I want for this particular composition we hit OK and congratulations you just made a composition but ain't nothing in it yet T I know not yet one thing at a time but congratulate yourself pat yourself on the back you made it this far now let's move on Okay guys, on to the first animation. So the first thing we're gonna do is drag our background layer from the project panel into the composition, I mean, to the timeline panel. And now we have our first um, animation. Now it's actually not an animation. <clears throat> it's a video playing on a timeline. This is not an animation yet. 
uh, if we was to move this in any type of way that would be considered an animation um, but we're going to take this logo here and we drag it above this layer and we're going to animate this so now we have our um, timeline stacked with uh, assets and now we're going to choose one of these um, assets and animate that so to do that we are going to move one to two seconds advance in the timeline and we're going to here let me hit, uh, we're going to hit this um, select this layer and click P and it's going to expose our position X and Y so what we're going to do is lock those in because this is where we want it to end up right and let's back it up and let's hold shift select the animation and pull down and this way it creates keyframes automatically now there's a variety of ways that you can do it but that's how I like to do it I like to go to, uh, to the part of the animation where where I wanted to end and lock the, the numbers in you will benefit from it later it may seem counterintuitive you may not really understand why why this is the better approach but as you start progressing and as you become more professional you'll understand that this is the better way to do it to go to the part of the timeline where you want everything to end and so you have everything set up and then go back to the beginning and move your uh, things around for example if you wanted to come from left to right like that or you could, if you wanted to go from up and down you could do it like that now and of course again you can um, do it in any way you want but this is just a more productive way for me to do it personally so since I'm going to be a trainer I this is the way I encourage you to do it so congratulations this is your absolute first keyframe animation and after effects so pat yourself on the back now we're going to do one more thing before we move on to something a little bit more advanced we're going to add another element to this uh, timeline we're going to add another asset should I say so to do that we're going to add some text so we're going to right click create new text and you may not see the cursor you have to zoom all the way in to see that little red cursor right there but uh, we can do something like we're going to um, type uh, let's say tutorial um, and um, let's take this and um, center it right down here now we're doing everything manual now and you see this we'll say refresh disabled um, that's because when I put on the caps locks for all caps this is an issue with um well, it's not an issue with uh, after effects but you can't have the caps locks on while you're working in after effects because you're messing with different um, expressions and effects anyway that's kind of some advanced talk but just know that when that caps lock is on you might want to take that off okay so um so we have two animations well we have one animation going on right here so one animation is to be able to keyframe so that logo can end up in the middle another animation is to reveal something that's not there so to do that we'll go to this tutorial layer and just back it up just back it up so it can't be seen so now when we play we'll see the uh, logo land at the top but then if you look down here you pay attention to this this is not going to be seen until the cursor pops or, um, dr um plays over the playhead plays over that particular um piece so that's another form of animation because it's appearing it's a simple animation but it's, it's still an animation All right so to to understand how after effects work uh it's kind of like you is you're learning the bare basics because there's always little stair steps to every single bare basic that you're going to learn from after effects that's the reason why experts teach you from this point of view because now there's going to be things that's going to be stacking stair stacking so and what i'm the example that i'm giving you is uh, right now we have it uh, laid out where it can pop on but then we can also hit T for transparency which is actually opacity we can click this and it's at 100 percent 
And remember, I said wherever we want the uh, 100% to be seen or where wherever we want it to end up being, that's what we should uh, keyframe it, right? And then if we move it to the beginning, instead of having it pop on, we can actually go to our opacity, turn our opacity all the way down to zero. And so now we have a keyframe from the opacity being a zero to 100. And now you'll see it fades in instead of just clicking in. So again, uh, I don't want to confuse you, but this is how uh, After Effects is primarily keyframing, letting images appear and disappear and letting images move from left to right, up, down, 3D animation, this, that, and the other. But the primary thing to take away from this particular uh, small tutorial is that everything is about keyframing. So every property is keyframable. And that's what makes After Effects so powerful because everything is a keyframe. Up, down, keyframe, left, right, keyframe, in, out, keyframe, opacity, uh, uh, zero to 100% visibility keyframe so one if you're an, if you're a complete beginner if you can wrap your head around this 70 percent of the uh the the knowledge is done as far as how after effects works okay now if i want to take you back and make it even more uh, understandable everything that you can do in photoshop you can also do in after effects except you program it instead of you fading it manually you program it by keyframes by timing and keyframes okay so i hope that you understand that because you're going to need this basic understanding to be able to benefit fully from the tutorials coming uh, this forth moving forward okay and this is where we get the advanced stuff and and then once you understand these basic beginnings you'll be able to know how to use the tools that I'm going to introduce to you because there's tools used to make a lot of these quicker, faster, more efficient, and without thought. But before you can use the tools, it's best to understand how After Effects work. All right, that wraps it up for the day. I hope you guys benefited from it. And make sure you stay tuned and follow up with the next tutorial.